So we're going to tape the shoulder. I think you'll find this very exciting. We're going to work on taping the shoulder for things like sprains, strains, clinical instability, even for frozen shoulder and very, very bad damage, which they call internal shoulder derangement. It's going to be very quick and very fast. I think you'll find it exciting. So the first piece of tape, you can see it's attaching to the uh, tip of the clavicle. That's what anchors the whole shoulder girl. That's what anchors, the anchors this humerus. So I put a piece of coverall stretch tape on that. Then I take it down. This is like making deltoid muscles. And I just, I don't stretch it, I just pull it back a little bit because most shoulder problems are anterior translation of the humerus. And the middle piece for these problems where the humerus in almost all cases has gone anterior is a middle piece that's got a little bit of bend still just to pull it back into the socket. And a third piece that goes in the very back. Again, this is just like using this tape as if it's a deltoid muscle. So this is a third piece of tape. It's like the third uh, point of the deltoid muscle. There's the anterior, middle and, po middle and posterior deltoid. And now I'm going to show you what to do if this humerus or the arm bone has translated or moved way too far forward in the socket. So what we do is when the humerus and the glenohumeral joint or the shoulder is dysfunctional, the humerus almost always goes anterior and up, anterior and superior. So we're going to pull it back. So we're going to attach this kinetic tape or kinesio tape or rock tape. I usually use rock tape. And we pull it back and we're pulling it down. So I'm going over the top. And that is all you need to do with a very seriously injured shoulder.